Welcome to the State Health Plan video on how to upload documents to eEnroll. Remember that first, you'll have to gather the documents you need, for example, a 1040 tax form to identify your spouse or a dependent child's birth certificate. You'll also need to save an electronic copy of the document to your computer. You can do that by scanning the document and saving it directly to your computer, or you can take a picture of the document with your smartphone, email that image to yourself, and then save it to your computer. Ready? Let's get started. First, go to the State Health Plan website at shpnc.org. Click on Enroll Now in the green bar. Next, on the Enroll Now page, select the appropriate yellow button to go to e-enroll. Retirees should enroll under Orbit. In Orbit, enter your username and password. If you've forgotten them, Click on the prompts in the left-hand column to recover them. Once you've entered your username and password, click Login. In the left-hand column, click State Health Plan e-enroll and click on the green box to accept the terms and conditions. Once in e-enroll, look for My Documents on the left-hand side or My Document Center on the right-hand side. Click on either link to access your document center. Once there, scroll down to find a list of your dependents. Click Upload a Document. Under the dependent, you have a document for. In the box that appears, click Choose File. Select the document you want to upload, in this case a birth certificate. Click Open. Then enter the document name. In the Category box, click on the drop-down menu and select the category that matches the document, in this case, Birth Certificate. Enter a short description of the document you're uploading and click Save. Repeat the process for each document you want to upload. Select Upload a Document, choose a file, select the document you want to upload, in our example, another birth certificate, although it could be a 1040 tax form or whatever. Enter the document name. Under Category, Select the correct document category from the drop-down menu, Birth Certificate. Enter a short description of your document and click Save. Once you've completed all your document uploads, check the status of your documents. They should say Pending Approval under each document you've uploaded. That means your document has been uploaded, but not yet verified. Once you see Pending Approval, click on Next. You'll see an important message for you, which is you have a document pending approval. Documents take 5 to 10 business days to be verified, so please check back into eEnroll until you see a verified message.